Hey everybody, welcome back to Reading When I Can. I cannot tell you the last time that I did a Friday Reads video, so I am trying to do one today. Um, it is very snowy out, which I think it is a lot of places in the United States right now. Um, maybe where you are, you have better weather, but right now it is not great out. Um, and I'm trying to be more consistent with posting. So I love being involved in the booktube community, but I'll find sometimes every excuse not to post. Um, so I'm really trying to make an effort to, you know, post more videos or comment on other people's videos to be a more present part of the community. Um, so I figured this is a step in the right direction. So this is going to be a super quick Friday Reads video. I have a couple books to talk about. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first book that I am going to be talking about today is um, book two of a series that I started in January. Um, it's A Perilous Undertaking by Deanna Rayburn. Now this is the second book in the Veronica Speedwell series. Um, the first book I liked, I didn't love it. Um, I am liking this one a lot better. Um, I just feel like her characters have mellowed out a little bit. I think in book one, to me, it seemed like they were trying a little bit too hard to be very Victorian and very quirky and, you know, whatnot. Um, I am enjoying the mystery. I'm about, oh, I, I guess about a third of the way through, um, but definitely liking this one a lot more than the first one. So probably going to finish this tonight. I'm thinking it's, you know, the middle of the afternoon right now and we have no plans because it's a pandemic. So <laughs> this is my plan for um, tonight to finish this book. Now, the next two books, I have physical copies and audio. So the first one is a buddy read, and then the next one is going to be a read-along. So the buddy read is Just Like Heaven by Julia Quinn. Um, I'm reading this with Doris and Heidi. So we read a lot of romance together. Um, they're mostly Regency, but sometimes we read um, contemporary as well. But this is Bridgerton adjacent. So we started reading the Bridgerton series in November um, in anticipation of the TV show, and um, we just finished it actually last week. So we finished book eight last week. Um, and this is Bridgerton adjacent, meaning that some of the characters are the same, but um, it's not the same family. So this is the Smythe Smith family, um, and there's four books in the series. And I've read this one, it's been a while. Um, but I don't think I ever finished the series. So really looking forward to this one. Uh, like I said, I have it on audio and paper copy, so I can kind of flip flop between the two, depending on, you know, what I'm doing. So if I'm doing laundry, I can listen to the audiobook, and you guys know how audiobooks work, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting to this one this weekend. Um, the read along that I'm doing is with uh, Marissa at Blatantly Bookish, and I'll link everybody's channels below, but this is Villette by Charlotte Bronte. This is her January and February book of the Bronte read-along. Um, I've never read this one before. I love Jane Eyre. I like Wuthering Heights, um, but this one I have owned for years. Like, I think I bought it in high school, but I just never got to it. Um, it's a little bit slow going for me, and that is usually a me problem when it comes to classics. Um, it takes a while for me to really get into the story and remember which character is which and again me problem but um, I'm listening to the audio as I also read the book and it's helping um, me figure everything out so I'm hoping to get at least a decent amount done of this book this weekend um, according to Goodreads I'm at like seven percent which is nothing um, but you know if I can get halfway I'll be very happy so you know, like I said, I'm planning on reading most of the weekend, so hoping to get a big dent in this. February is only a week longer, so, you know, really hoping to get done with this so I can move on to the next book with the read-along. And then finally is a book with my real-life book club. Um, it's The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Um, I've heard mixed things about this um, in a good way, um, just that it's, you know, a difficult read, which is important, you know, to, to do. Um, I am hoping to finish up the other books so I can focus on this one. I find that sometimes if I'm physically reading a couple books at once, I really have trouble, um, remembering what's happening in each story, even if they're completely different. So once I finish the Veronica Speedwell book, I'm going to jump right into this one. So, um, let me know what you guys are reading this weekend. Like I said, I really want to make an effort to post more often on my channel, um, be involved in booktube, and I will talk to you all soon. I hope you have a good weekend.